Hello, everybody. I wanted to come to y'all this afternoon and uh, talk to you for a minute. We've been getting a lot of messages uh, from people that follow our page and like what we're doing here on our gated trail horses. They're having problems with their horses. They're different issues. You know, scared of cars, scared of bikes, bolting, doing all these things. The, they're wanting answers on what they're, how to fix their problems. I can give you an answer. Chances are you're not going to like it. Okay? Number one, if your horse is bolting, what does that tell you? It tells you you have no control over his mind or his feet. It tells you that that horse is doing whatever he wants to do whenever he wants to do it. That is telling you that your horse is not soft. Your horse is not supple. He's not light. Okay? It's also telling me he's rude. He's very rude. He's disrespectful. Those five things are what's wrong with 99% of the horses out here. Now, I can tell you right now, this barn, we, we've been blessed this year. It, it, it has been unreal. This barn's been full all year. Do you know what was wrong with every single horse that come in here? They had no foundation on them whatsoever. They were stiff. They were not supple. They were leaning against you. They were pulling on you. They were rude. Very, very rude. That goes with disrespectful. I call it rude and disrespectful. Look, guys. These are thousand pound animals. You need to get control of your horses. You need to get control of your horses. As y'all know, we have a patron page here. We put up raw, uncut, training video. We show every single thing we do to make a great trail horse. We also show after we've ridden him in the barn, let's take a two-year-old. We've broke a two-year-old. He's never been ridden. We ride him in this barn. We get a foundation on him. We get control of our horse. We'll actually take you along with us on the patron page on his first trail ride and let you watch it because Joy films it. You see from start to the woods. We hide nothing here. Sometimes does it get rough? Yep, sure does. I don't like to get rough on horses. But when a horse is absolutely trying to run over you with no respect for you whatsoever, you're going to have to do something to get him off of you because those horses are dangerous. What amazes me is the people out here that are riding horses like that. They're riding them. They're getting away with it. The horses have no foundation. The horse is not soft, supple, light, respectful. Look, the one rain stop. I was on the internet the other morning. As most of you know, I get up 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm constantly studying. I'm constantly trying to get better. And I'm not too good to watch somebody else. If somebody else can do something and, I, and it will help me, don't you think for a minute I'm not going to do it. I will do it. If it makes my horses better, if it makes me better, a lot of you out here, what you need to be doing, whether you join our patron page or not, that is off the table. If you don't like me, great. Find somebody you like and listen to him and educate yourself. Educate yourself. Because if you don't, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. Education is the key. I have a continuing education. You take all the big name trainers out there, Chris Cox, Clinton Anderson, all these guys that are out here, that are very famous people, 
don't be surprised if you don't see me in Lake St. Louis in January, where Clinton Anderson's going to be. Do you want to know why I'm going there? Because I want him to tell me one thing to make me better. And if he wants to, he can tell me two. And people say, well, that's cool. What, what do you want him to tell you? Hell, I don't know yet. I haven't been there. But I'm going to go sit there and I'm going to listen for two days. And surely to God, in two days, I can walk out of there with something to come back here and make that string of horses over there behind the camera better. I'm not too good to do it, but yet everybody goes out here and they're riding these disrespectful horses. They're riding these, these stiff horses that doesn't pay no attention to them, and yet they're not doing thing one to get better. The horse is seeking the level of the rider. He is seeking your level. As long as you stay down here, let me tell you something, that's where he's going to stay. But if you'll start raising your level up, he's going to do everything he can to try to meet you. It's a partnership, horsemanship, horsemanship, horsemanship. I get sick of people saying, you're Mike, you're in here riding gated horses and you're doing quarter horse stuff on them. Well, you can call it that. What I'm doing to my horses is called horsemanship. Something that I've said many times that is lacking in the gated horse world by leaps and bounds. Horsemanship. I don't want my horses pushing on my hands. I don't want my horses charging. I don't want them sitting here acting all hot and stupid. I want them to calm down and relax. It can be done with the proper training. I've proven it can be done. And I even show it for 33 cents a day what I'm doing to get it done. You take a horse in here that's a two or a three year old that's not broke. We film the whole deal. You see every single thing I do to that horse to the first ride. Matter of fact, we just got done this afternoon doing a first ride on a three year old. Coming three year old mare of ours. I've got another one standing right over here. That's going to be filmed as well. You keep watching. You'll see that horse go from the day one ground ship, day two we were riding her, and we're going to keep right on going. And you will see the day when we load her in the trailer and go to the woods. We actually film that too and let you see the results when we go through the woods. We don't hide nothing here. We are trying to help you. But in order for us to help you, you have to be wanting to help yourself. I, and I've, I've said this before too. I have a good friend of mine that passed away, lived down here, and he was no cowboy, and I'd, sit, and I'd get busy. I'd say, Ronnie, well, take that colt and ride it and get him gentle down and get him, get him going. Man, he'd come back and he'd say, let me tell you something. He is nice. You can ride. You could get on him and ride him anywhere. I take him all over. That's great. Can a 55 to 78 year old woman do it? Can she get on him? Is he safe for her? Because it don't matter what I can do. I ride crap every day. I ride stuff that they can't ride, trying to train them and get them better. But when you're trying to get a horse ready to sell, know your customer. Know your customer and cater to your customers. That's what we do. It, it is not about me and Joy. Joy can ride one almost as good as I can. But it's not about me and Joy. It's about our customers. Our customers. Here's you another example. We had a patron member. Everything was wonderful. She was listening. She was studying. She was doing great. Her horse was absolutely wonderful. And she dropped the membership. That's fine. Patron members come and go. You can quit that anytime you want to. That's fine. Where's she at today? I can tell you. She's in the hospital with a punctured lung, a broken rib. You want to know why? And me and Joyce talked about it. She quit trying to get better. She wasn't around it. She wasn't hearing it. Sure, you tune into my stuff. Look, man, you're going to hear the same stuff. You're going to hear the same stuff. Matter of fact, let me tell you all this. 
if you watch TV. Have you seen the Humana commercials? Have you seen the Humana commercials? My God, them things run for five minutes. I have never been more sick of Medicare and Humana crap on TV in my life. I won't even watch live TV. I record everything I watch. Why do they do that? Because they keep trying to keep that at the top of your brain. You've got to get this stuff done. You've got to get this stuff done. You've got to get this stuff done for your health insurance. Horse riding is the same way. The more you're around it, the more it is natural to you, the more you react quicker, and the better overall you get, whether you're watching me or somebody else. Find somebody you like. Follow them. Listen to it. Be around it. Be around it. Look, man, I'm in here working. Hell, I forget stuff. I'll forget stuff and think, well, shit, I should have done that. But I'm still constantly trying to get better. I, I make it my job. It's my job. It is my job to get up and get down here early in the morning before I feed, watch some videos, think about things, get ready for my day. I'm constantly doing that. I've done it for a long time, have I not, Joy? I mean, it, it's just... It, You've got to want to get better. The number one thing you've got to do is you've got to get better. You have got to get control of your horse. Now, I can help you get control of him. You're going to have to do it as well. You're going to have to do it as well. You're going to have to get educated. And, and you know, I'm sitting here talking about groundwork all the time. Do you know what groundwork is? And I call it foundation work, and it is foundation work. Foundation gets the stiffness, resistance, and the abrasiveness and the rudeness out of your horse before you ever get on him. Okay, what groundwork really is, is getting a horse exceptionally halter broke. That's what it's doing because we're doing all this stuff in a halter. It's getting him exceptionally halter broke where I can direct his feet in a manner anywhere I want to and he is moving his feet in a Smooth, soft, respectful manner. Everything that I do on the ground translates to what I do in the saddle. A lot of groundwork stuff out here, guys, that these guys are doing is nothing more than a bunch of tricks that don't amount to nothing. Kind of like I've watched it, I don't know how many times, they train a horse to lay down. My God, people eat that up. And they'll pay thirty, forty thousand dollars for a horse because he'll lay down. Joy and I have been all over the United States on trail rides. I have yet to be out on a trail ride and watch the horse somebody lay him down. It don't happen. What I would rather do than that crap is get a safe, soft, supple, reliable trail horse for somebody to ride. That's what we concentrate here on. Not sitting here, kneeling on one knee, laying down all this crap. Look, guys, the number one thing you've got to do is get control of your horses. You start by the foundation work, by the groundwork. And that is, seems to me like something nobody wants to do. But if you want a great horse, you better get it done. Because your ultimate goal is to do the groundwork, do it correctly, get good at it, be precise with it, because your goal is to not ever do it again. You, you, I'm not doing groundwork for the rest of my life on my personal horses. Hell no. I'm going to saddle them up, flex them over here, and crawl on them, and I'm going to go to town. Because I have done my job. It sticks with them. And I have confidence in my horse whenever I ride them. Put some trust in your horses so they can put some trust in you. Most of you are up here getting on these horses and you don't trust them as far as you can send them. How do you expect your horse to trust you? Okay, and here's another fine example of it. You're sitting here riding a horse and it does something bad. Okay, that horse is gone. He's gone. He's out of here. 
the bad thing we survived it, we didn't die. We're on another horse, and you know what you're thinking about? What that other horse done. You're constantly thinking about what that other horse done. And you get in that same situation, and you start drawing up because the other horse done it. It's almost like you being married, getting a divorce, and whatever problems you had in your first marriage, you take it out on who you're with now. And he's standing there innocent and ain't got a clue what you're talking about. The horses are the same way. It's your problem. There are people out here that will help you. We'll be more than happy to help you. And we'll spend time with you. Because we want you safe. We want you trail riding. These are some things that's coming in. You know, it keeps coming in. I had another message about headset. The horse was up here. Nose was out. They couldn't get the head down. Couldn't get the head down. Guys. It wasn't the headset. It's stiffness in the body. It's resistance. It's stiffness in the body. It's resistance. If you get the horse soft, supple, and light, the head's going to drop. So, anyway, that's just something we wanted to come to you today. This probably went a little bit long, but there it is. So, anyway, if we can help you at all, please, please call us.